Hello student, in this class we learned Arnold render settings and the optimization of these settings. If you are working on a project and need a render in a limited time, so if you are know these settings deeply, you can get that render in a limited time, but you also have to compromise with the render quality. First I talk about this scene, it's a room inside view, three big window is here and three light I create from the front viewport. I show you how I create these but we learn about light in a separate video. Click on this light icon and choose Arnold from the drop down list. Only one light is available here. Click on this to activate light tool and if you click on the viewport, it's create a freeform light and if you click and drag, so it's create a targeted light, but we need a freeform light. So first I activate this tool and then click on the viewport, light is created. Now right click to exit this tool and go to modify section and the important parameter of this light is on you can on or off by this checkbox and the other setting is quad x or quad y these are rectangle dimensions you can increase according to your door or windows like this. In the bottom side, these are intensity and exposure settings. I choose 12 in the intensity or exposure 16 for these lights and these are instance light. And then place these light from the front and top viewport. I place outside the window here. And these are intensity settings. I show you 12 and 16 light color is white and size is around 3 or 2 fit now i click on the render setup icon and click on the common tab and these are output dimensions width and height you can increase or decrease according to your requirement and then click on the arnold render tab these are sampling and ray depth settings. First I render with the default settings. With the default render setting, render is little bit dark and very noisy. First I increase the light bounces. There are two columns first for samples and they are related to visual quality and second ray depth these related to light bounces. First I increase ray depth in front of diffuse column. I increase up to 5 and then click on the render button. After increasing light bounces, scene look more brighter. Now we increase sample value to decrease noise. First parameter is camera anti-aliasing. I increase up to 5. Now I increase diffuse up to 4. If any metallic object is available in your scene, you can increase the specular value. I increase up to 3. And transmission related to light rays travel in a liquid or gel environment. So you can increase. We did not have any object like this. So I reduce this amount. Now total number of ray depth is 7 plus 3 plus 5, 15. But in the depth limit, ray limit set to 10 and total number of rays is 15 so i have to increase this value i increase up to 20 these are not production render settings you get little bit noise because these are mid range render settings i click on the render button it takes some time and i show you after render this Render is complete with these settings. You can check render is less noisy and more brighter. You can also increase render quality by increasing sample or ray depth values. These are super sensitive value. You have to careful increasing these numbers. I show you how these numbers work. In the right side, these are minimum or maximum ray numbers. In the camera anti-aliasing, number is 5 and in front of this is 25 it's mean is 5 times 5 
so it's 25 and in the second row ray number is 400 it's mean 5 times 5 25 and offset number is 4 4 times 4 is 16 and 16 by 25 is 400 if you increase camera anti-aliasing sample number by 1 so total number of rays is increased 400 to 570 so these number increase in the multiply form so you have to careful increasing these numbers because they take lots of time to rendering now you can compare render 1 to render 2 or render 3 i hope you understand how to optimize render settings and render time if you like this tutorial please subscribe my channel and like this video